Hello friends, this is the fourth tutorial in the series of step-by-step -step setup of Oracle 19C Data Guard. We have already covered the steps, what are the steps involved in the first video. In the second video, we created the primary database. In the third video, we created the standby and we enabled the MRP. And in this video, we will be learning how to enable the Data Guard broker. So if I show you my setup right now, I got these two databases. So where is my query? So let me take this query and let me clear the screen. So this is my primary and this is my standby. Let me clear it over here also and run the same query. So here it says currently Oracle DP is primary and it is in read write mode while on standby, I got this into Oracle DS. Here it's P, it's standby, switch over status not allowed. It is physical standby, this is primary, and here it is read write while it is read only with apply. So I got this particular setup. So I already have a working data guard environment setup. And now in this particular video, we will be learning how to enable the data guard broker so that would be the fourth part now to enable the data guard broker we need to set this particular parameter dg broker start to true on primary the dg broker start to true on standby we have to configure this particular parameter we have to configure the file these are the dg config files and then we would be creating the data guard configuration and adding the primary and then adding the standby in that particular configuration and we will be setting this particular parameter for allowing us to do the switch over and finally we will be enabling the configuration so the this uh, these three are done by using the the sql plus and the rest of all is then done using the utility called dgmgrl data guard manager now let me uh, let me actually exit from here and connect to the this okay so let me show it to you the st steps so what we need to do is we will connect okay so before so let me try actually to create the configuration so create configuration this is the command which will connect create the uh, the data guard configuration broker configuration and we are adding the primary database is primary connect identifier so this is the connect identifier and what is the primary database we are adding so we are creating in the same command we are creating the configuration and we are also adding the primary so let me try doing that and this particular command will actually fail so the reason is oracle data guard broker is not available and why is because we need to make sure that dg broker start is set so if it is not set, we cannot add the database into the data guard broker configuration. So let's do that first. So what we'll do, we need to set this particular parameter DG broker start on primary and standby. So let me go back to my primary set that and here also set this. And now let me exit and here if you see this particular command failed dg mgrl create configuration oracle data guard broker is not at available so we we got a failure here aura 16525 now let me do the same command once again the same command i'll hit the once again the create configuration command which we failed so the create the create configuration command which failed so I, I'm going to run the same command once again and see what happens. And you see configuration of Oracle D created with primary. So the error that we got, Aura 15625, that error, Aura 16525, that error was because we did not start the DG broker start. And that is what we have to start on primary as well as on all the standby which are going to participate in the data guard broker then we have to make sure that this particular parameter this particular parameter is already set by default so let me just show you to you show parameter so i'm not changing those values and i'm just going to accept 
So this particular, these are the two config files and we, we basically the best practice says that we have to store them on two different locations. Uh, so two different hard drive. So if one file is lost, then we have the mirror copy. So we store them on two different locations. But in my case, I have kept them in the same location. So these particular two config files are the data guard broker config files. And that particular parameter is by default set to DBS location and it's already been set. So I am not going to change it as part of my access. Once that is done, so we now we have got DG broker start on primary. We set this particular value on the standby. We verified this particular variable is there. And we also created using create configuration, using this particular create configuration command, we created the data guard configuration. Next command is we need to add the standby into that particular configuration. So next command is this. And now here this command is also going to fail because it says the log arc dash one is set. So we need to make sure that the log arc dash two parameter is reset. It's blank on the standby. So let's do that. I have set this is my standby and I have reset this particular parameter and I'll run the same command once again. And let's see. So let me run this particular command. And now I got this standby added. So let me repeat what I did. I just ran two commands. These are the two commands that I ran. I'm going to take them and put it here. So the first command was create configuration Oracle D as primary database. So we created the data guard broker configuration and we added the primary database with the connect identifier. This is the TNS names entry. And similarly, we also added the standby as physical so we added these two entries in the data guard broker and now if i let me clear the screen let me connect as this one and let me show you the configuration and if you see my data guard configuration says i got max performance i got primary database and i got so oracle dp is my primary and oracle ds is my standby so what I'll do now is I need to set two more variables called connect identifier, which actually tells us where to look for. So where is the primary and where is the standby? So we will set that particular variable for the primary as well as standby. So we'll set this parameter called static connect identifier. And all that we are saying is we are giving this port and host the entry and the service name basically we are giving the entire information about that particular instance so let's do that and we have to also do it for the second node or second instance not the node second instance the primary and standby primary and then standby we will be doing that so we'll be giving the entire connect information into the so that's done now what we will do is like we will enable the configuration So we have enabled our configuration. So right now, if you see the configuration status is disabled and now we will check once we say enable configuration. So it says enabled. So now if I run this show configuration once again, you see configuration status was disabled. Now configuration status is success, which means my data guard broker is now up and running and I have configured my DG broker, which means now the failover, switchover, whatever I need to do, it can be done using the DGMGRL. So let me clear the screen once again. And connect it and show you the configuration. And OK, so what I'll do actually is let me exit out of here. And let me clear the screen and let me go to the machine. And open one more session and let's say. Here and let me go to DGMGRL 
and let me say show configuration so my oracle dp is primary and oracle ds is physical standby and my configuration is success and i can also verify that using this particular query so let me connect to my database and this particular is primary the oracle dp is primary as you can see oracle dp is primary oracle dp is primary and if i run the same query here the oracle ds is physical standby oracle ds is physical standby and you can see oracle ds is physical standby now what i need to do is i need to make the oracle ds as primary so what we, what the command would be switch over to oracle ds the command would be switch over to oracle ds so that command is actually going to initiate the failover so now the oracle dp the p will become standby and oracle ds will become the primary the current physical standby would become if the switch over happens successfully so let's give it a try and see if we are able to get our switch over working it's going to take some time it's uh, it's stopping i think it's starting the oracle dp uh, new primary database so let's actually see okay let me exit because anyway this session will get disconnected so this is physical standby i'll not do i'll not do many so let's let's wait and see once the message comes then only i will connect database mounted they connected to oracle dp opened looks like everything is working fine so let's give it a minute okay switch over succeeded new primary is oracle ds connected to oracle dp now switch over succeeded new primary is oracle ds so now let's go here and let's do this show configuration once again and if you see previously here oracle dp was primary database and now oracle ds has become the primary database oracle dp primary database oracle ds so our switch over completed and now what i'll do is i will take this particular query and i'll run this particular query here and you can see this was primary and now it is physical standby the oracle dp was primary and now oracle dp is physical standby and you can see the same oracle dp is physical standby and oracle ds is primary so let's go here oracle ds so we'll run the same query we'll run the same query and i'll just make it little big so that I can see the previous output so here it said okay a little bit bigger so here it says it was physical standby and now oracle ds is primary so we using one simple command called switch over to switch over to oracle ds we were able to perform the switch over using the data guard broker and our data guard broker seems to be working right now it is showing it is success now the switch over has happened so we will do one more testing so let's see how many records are there in our table here so this is our standby which means we can't insert anything over here so we got four records and similarly we need to make sure that we have four records and they are exactly similar so what i'll do is i will try to insert the records on this which was our old primary obviously it will fail so let me open that particular script which actually does the insert part so let me try to insert this particular record into here and it says database is open for read only access which means we cannot insert over here and let me try to insert it on the new primary so and while doing that i'll hit all the commands together so let me take all of them together take it together and paste it and now from four records 
I got six records and that's on primary. So let's see whether those six records are getting replicated on the standby, which means I need to run this select star query, this particular query here. And we saw that from four insert field on standby. But when we inserted those records on the new primary, then we got all those six records, which means even after the switch over, our replication or log shipping or data guard is working fine. And we have been able to successfully configure our data guard broker. So to configure the data guard broker, what we need, did is we, it was pretty simple. We enabled the digit broker start to true on primary, same on standby. Then we made sure that we have the values, the, the config file. Then we create using the dgmgrl command, we created the configuration. We ran this particular command. Then we ran this particular command to add the standby. And finally, we said enable configuration. So the next command was enable configuration. And if you want to see the configuration, so the commands here are. So if you if you if you let me exit out of this and let me clear and let me connect again. So if you want to see, if you want to disable the configuration, you will say disable the configuration. So you will use the command disable configuration to disable the configuration. But before showing that, before running this command, what I'll do is like I'll show you. So show configuration, we show you the configuration, current configuration. And it is success and it is configured and your Oracle DS is primary. So now what I'll do is like I'll say enable configuration once again, but it's already been enabled. So I don't remember what exactly it does. Yeah, it says enabled, but actually it is already been enabled. And let me try to disable it. And let's see what whether it is able to disable. Okay, spelling mistake. And then once it is disabled, let's see show configuration once again. And you see previously configuration status was success and now it is configuration status is disabled. So let's enable it back again. So that's how it is. That's how simple the commands are. Okay, the operation cannot be performed on standby. Okay, wait, no problem. So let me connect on the primary. Sorry, that's that's actually standby. So let me connect on the primary and say enable configuration. Okay. So, and then once we enable the configuration, make sure you verify the configuration using show configuration command. And this was the tutorial on how to set up the data card broker. And in the next video, we will be seeing how to enable the fast start failover. So that would be the the last video in this five series tutorial on data guard broker so see you in next video till then enjoy and wait for the next video thank you bye bye